This is an explanation of how to get the second part of the answer for the question about being thrown off the Earth. So let's say you get your answer omega, that's in units of radians per second, it's probably a very small number. In order to convert that to seconds per day, what you've got to do is this bit of math, which is a little complicated, but it simplifies to that. The reason that you're multiplying it by this quantity is because one day here, I don't mean a length of time, I mean an astronomical phenomenon. That would be a complete rotation of the Earth is a rotation through two pi radians. Now, if you take this, multiply it by that, the units work out so that it's two pi radians over omega uh, radians per second. The units work out to be seconds per day. So, if you divide two pi by your answer omega, radians per second, it will just straight up give you how many seconds it will take for the Earth to completely turn around once. If it's a very large number of seconds, you could convert it to minutes or hours, whatever makes the most sense. That's all.